Good morning, everyone. Daisy Jade here for today's Eye on Health. And I know that with 2021 coming to an end, we are all looking forward to an amazing 2022. And a lot of times that comes with making New Year's resolutions. So I'm here today with Dr. Anthony Manorino, who's going to give us some New Year's resolutions tips. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, good to see you. Of course. Now, why do you feel like people are compelled to make New Year's resolutions? I think we all have a bit of an inherent drive to want to improve and be better. So if there were things that we fell short on in 2021, we think about how can we improve for next year? Absolutely. Now, is it a good idea to make New Year's resolutions when so many of them sometimes fail? Well, I think for people who want to make New Year's resolutions, that's, it's a good idea. Uh, it's important though to just be realistic about the goals you choose. So if it's losing weight or exercise or spending more time with your family or your children, just be realistic about it. Uh, so it's more likely you'll achieve your goals. Yes, I love that tip. Now, what other tips do you have to, to help somebody that you know maybe made some New Year's resolutions and help them to succeed? Well, I think the most important thing is to not be overwhelmed by the goal that you have. So if you want to spend more time with your children, instead of saying, I'm going to spend, you know, 20 hours a week with them, I think you want to start with smaller goals uh, and then kind of shoot up over time instead of starting with such a large goal that you couldn't possibly achieve it. Yeah, that makes it seem like they're more manageable. And so I guess once you hit that one goal, then you can feel compelled to continue on. That's, that's a that's great exactly tip. That's exactly right. Great tip. Now, what if you slip up? I know there's some people who, you know, maybe are on a diet and then they go on a food binge. Any advice for them? Yeah, should someone be on a diet and they overeat the night before, they get discouraged and they think, oh, why did, why did I even bother to have a New Year's resolution? So I think what they really should do is to just kind of forget the night before, concentrate on the next day and go forward from there and realize that no matter what our resolution is, we're not going to be perfect at it. Mm, that is great advice right there. And what about all those people out there though that maybe don't feel like New Year's resolutions are for them? Should they feel guilty? Not one bit. You know, New Year's resolutions are good for some people, but for others who really don't care to have them, that's, that's absolutely fine. No, no, no guilt at all if you don't have any. Well, I love those tips. Thank you so much, Dr. Anthony Manorino. Really appreciate it. And Happy New Year to you. And same to you. All right, we'll send it back to the PTL Studios. Thank you, Daisy. Yeah. And it makes so much sense. Like, it doesn't matter that it's January 1. Every day can be a new day. So you can Great. set a new path any day you want to. Great, today is a new day. Today is a new day. <laughs> and remember to keep watching for our Eye on Health series right here on PTL. Yeah, it happens on Wednesdays and it's brought to you by Highmark, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, together with Allegheny Health Network for your health.